Pierce is a Vietnam veteran, which might explain how he maintains such a calm demeanor with us despite the mayhem he just witnessed. He recalls hearing dozens of shots before the suspect was taken out. People were trying to help. They were running for cover. You're listening to Representative Steve Pierce just moments after this morning's horrific shooting. Pierce still at that Virginia ball field when he picked up our phone call. I finished my hits, was walking to the other dugout when the first shot rang out. Investigators say Louisiana Representative Steve Scalise and four others were shot. Probably 30 shots in our group. By James T. Hodgkinson. Scalise uh, had a, a, a wound to the hip. Uh, two stoppers, one hit very seriously in the chest, uh, one hit in the leg. But Pierce believes Hodgkinson was aiming for another Republican congressman from Mississippi. Trent Kelly is, uh, is our third baseman and was... 20 feet from him, he fired the first shot at Trent and missed. Pierce remembers everyone rushing to help the wounded when the gunfire finally stopped. We were dragging uh, the wounded to the to the side and, and not knowing exactly where the shooter originated. Pierce then suddenly ended our phone call when he was interrupted by commotion on the field. I need to wrap up here. They're trying to clear up the, the scene here and there. They've been asking us to stay. Now the police are asking us to go ahead and move to a bus and carry us out. Pierce has since gathered more of his thoughts and remembers what happened in much more vivid detail. He'll describe officers firing back from right over his shoulder at 6. Megan Cruz, KOAT Action 7 News.